All right, we're back. Um, picking up here with the exiled brother who has met up with Malcolm. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Veska can lead them. What? She's stronger than most knights in Westeros. This is your fight, Azure. Your family. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. This is uh, ominous. Everyone <laughs> closing well, their doors. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh, God. Pontes Renas! You guy who knew Josie put tag on Costotti Taor. Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asha. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up, Uncle. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Hard to know how to play these characters. I feel like he's the mercenary. He needs to be like a little bit, uh... Gotta be confident. What are we walking in new here? The dreaded room. Hello? Oh, 
What? Hmm. Jack my shit. Everything's still here. There's coal footprints all over the place now. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? It'd be Cersei or. Was someone going through my books? It's rigged. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Is it from the the, the coal coal kid? What I'm thinking. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough! Maester, when last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Oh, God. Guess who's coming to dinner? Roderick? Ooh. Your face looks like a strawberry Pop-Tart. You look... You're really... Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Play my cards right. Please. Don't talk about my scars. Don't talk about my hideous cuts. Hey, look at these cuts. Oh, shit. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult. But I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. All right, all right, we're making things happen here. So yeah, I was just trying to be a little honest, but not- But Roderick, I, um, I need to ask you something. Does your- When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. Oh, okay, yeah, the soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Mm, it's a long story. Has something happened? Trust me, they won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. 
Yeah, that was... I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. My house is stronger than it looks. Every one of us is fighting to survive. Even beyond Ironrath. <sighs> it's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. Hmm. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. If you've hurt Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Nick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow? I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roosh Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Now we gotta get that army. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. 
<laughs> Isn't that clever? Not really? He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's Not Paul now, Ryan Mom. going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. I can't believe she would support that. She's worried about the little kid, I get it, but... Getting on the knee and kissing the ring. My lord. Of that guy. Well? He's a chump. This fight isn't over. Not even close. I just feel like the brasher I am, the worse it's gonna be for me. But I can't help it. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. I'm sorry. So am I. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the Night's Watch. At least for the next couple of seasons. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. They hate me because they hate me. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. All right, we're at the top of the wall. Let's take a look. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? 
Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Midnight back in King's Landing. Is that what we're looking at here? I still, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the coal boy. I'm here, but where are you? Who could it be? Who has summoned us to this top secret meeting at midnight? Find out on the next episode.